also what's good for the goose, which is Netflix, is a lot of freaking Walking Dead. So I'm gonna take this to Cruise Court because we need we need more Walking Dead. I don't think we do. So let's go to Cruise Court. <laughs> The Walking Dead, everybody. Millions of seasons, spin-offs, redos, remakes, you know, separation, they're back again, they're dead, they're alive, it's coming back one more time. Well, AMC has worked a deal out with Netflix right now. They make this deal, and now the streaming giant is going to take 13 different series, including all of The Walking Dead, over to Netflix, to try to revitalize these programs and find a new audience. Now we're talking about now. Now, or all the original Evil, or Evil Dead, Walking Dead is already there. I have Evil Dead in the brain. All the original Walking Dead is already there, but on top of that, too, we have much more coming. We also have like, oh my God, look at these shows right now. We have the Daryl Dixon show. We have Anne Rice interview a vampire. We also have Monsieur Spade. We have the the Dirty Black Bag and Terror. There's all these shows moving over there right now. And on top of that, two more seasons, two more Walking Dead shows are coming early next year. Do we need more Walking Dead? Are they going to make even more now? That's insane to me. We don't need these spinoffs. We need this Dead City spinoff. We don't need all these different additional like sub-stories and additional stories of the Walking Dead. We've already had so much. Sometimes let a franchise die. Let it be done. Let it be over with. But you know what? AMC is like, we're doing this. So Netflix, take the ball. You know they're going to have more. They're going to have more. And get ready because I feel like the Walking Dead is going to be this whole new movement at Netflix. So the question is in Cruise Court, is this necessary? Do we want to see more? Walking Dead become a whole new, gentrified, alive product over on Netflix. <laughs> or, 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 should this die be buried with all the dead that are still walking around God's green earth? That's the question on the on Cruise Court tonight. Mike Casey, tell me the truth. I'm taking it down to Cruise Court. Tell me the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help me, Mike Casey. Get sworn in, Jenny. Swear me I in. Swear, I swear, Your Honor. Swear the truth. Do you want to see more Walking Dead and you that Netflix is going to keep doing this and riding this gravy train until we've been bled and sucked dry? Or are they going to let it die, die, die? Mike, tell me the truth. Uh, well, yeah, you know, Daryl is coming. He's wealthy now that he's been on so many seasons. So he is moving into your neighborhood and that's pushing out the families that have historically been there for for generations. So and they're, the they're just they're gentrifying our TV real estate, and it's not that great. But honestly, you know, there's there's so many other brothers of Daryl that we just haven't even explored. Uh, Farrell uh, Dixon, uh, Gerald Dixon, uh, and they're all different. You know, some of them are Nazis. Some of them are like Mr. Rogers, but more friendly. Um, you, you know, it's, it hasn't been interesting since, uh, since, you know, since Negan exploded Glenn's head. Uh, it was, yeah. uh, there's, is there more territory to be gained here? I don't know. I want to see uh, whatever, uh, Kirkman's next, next exploration is. Let let him gentrify some new territory. I, I'm, I'm, I'm over it. Like they, they could, they could make good adaptations in this universe because they're really trying to expand it, but I don't know. But will it, they, it Mike, happen they're not going to stop, are they? They're not going to stop. I, I don't know. Are people watching? I haven't looked at the numbers. Yeah, they're doing pretty good, actually. If they're doing, doing if they're good. doing good, then yeah, Matt, then just hu huge. Keep expanding the universe. That's how it works. And Rick, they did try to get rid of Rick, but Rick is not dead. He has his old spinoff series. Now he's back alive, kicking ass with, uh, you know, Simone. What's her name? Simone. Uh, is that her name? I haven't watched his show in so long. I stopped watching guys. Michonne? Too many shows. Michonne. Sh Michonne. Yeah. Michonne. Michonne. There we go. Yeah. Yes. Oh, there yeah. we go. All right, all right, all right, Sean. Since uh, since Sean knows what's going on with this, Sean, tell me yeah, the truth, the whole of. truth, and nothing but the truth on Cruise Court, man. Do you believe this is not done, or do you think that Netflix needs to bury the hatchet, hide the keys, throw the car in the river, and be done with this show forever? I just, I just tell me the truth. Hide your wife. <laughs> hide your kids. Hide your wife. Hide your Walking Dead. Uh, listen, I think it's fine that uh, these shows are getting a second life on this platform. I think that's a fantastic way to. Find new audiences, connect with a new generation of, of people that are interested in this. The comic book is going nowhere, even though it already ended. They are still in the process of reprinting it in color, which is beautiful. The fact that they Ooh, that's are willing to do that. Yes. Uh, so Walking Dead Weekly, uh, as they do it. It's really cool. Um, but there's a, a plethora of shows. Not all these AMC Walking Dead shows have hit. And, 
you know, I'll be the first to admit that. There are some really bad seasons of Fear the Walking Dead. Some really bad seasons of regular Walking Dead. I didn't even bother with Dead City. Negan is probably one of my favorite characters. I love the actor. Uh, whose name I can't think of. Uh, but at the moment. But I, I think what Netflix is doing, I think it makes sense. I think there is something, the Netflix effect of it all. It makes it cool to rewatch a show. Uh, I've mentioned it a few times on the show, Scavenger's Reign. It's finding a new resurgence, even though it was canceled on HBO, and Netflix got it, and it's it's up for an Emmy. And there's talk of re bringing it back for season two. Uh, so please watch Scavenger's Reign. There's content out there. This just opens it up for a new generation of people. So give me more Walking Dead. <laughs> just keep keep messing with the frame. This is what happened, kids. Show up early to the shows. Show up to sound check. Otherwise, you miss this kind of good time. Um, but no, a lot of good stuff with there. Fear the Walking Dead wasn't terrible, Racer X. There were a couple good seasons. What they did with Morgan's character and introducing the idea of immune people, I hated that. Um, but aside from that, yeah, let Netflix do whatever the fuck they want. AMC can do it. They've got a plethora of good talent. Even, like, The Preacher. The Preacher was a great show. It came and went. No one And Preacher's going to Netflix, Preacher. too. I know. It's one of the shows. I just read the I just read your list. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Uh Watch the preacher. Really good, faithful adaptation. Um, let's start for a couple things. Of course, you can't do all of that on television. Uh, <laughs> the the part with the chicken is what I presume you're you're referencing. There's a couple, there's a couple things in preacher we just need to leave in the comic books. That's for sure. Um, but there's nothing wrong with this. This is content deals. The content, for the most part, is pretty solid. I think this is great. Let them have it. Let them do it. Yeah. There you go. yeah. Uh, uh, but, not guilty, right? I don't know. <laughs> so you're saying they're going to keep doing it. It's fine. They should do more, right, Sean? Like, let's keep that gravy train, keep that gravy boat going. Yes, I agree. However, I don't need reboots. I don't need any more yeah. side stories yeah. uh, of, of the fucking Walking Dead. Let it be. There's some good Just stuff. Just keep adding. There. Let things, adding, adding. Let, let things end. If they, I like Daryl Dixon, I think, is probably a character that has resonated with audiences. Mostly because of the head actor that it, it is doing the role. <laughs> doing great with names today. Um, but we don't need to do another Walking Dead show at this point. I just don't see the point. So let him have well, his thing. All right. I, I feel like there's going to keep going, but don't reboot it, of course. Keep those, those franchise moving. But, Jenny, how do you feel about this? I've never watched Walking Dead, but there's so many seasons. It keeps going and going. Spinoffs, lot, redos, reboots. I feel like they can't stop. So, Jenny, I want the truth. Jenny, I want the truth about The Walking Dead from you. Whole truth. I want the truth and the court of proofs. Should this I keep did. moving? I'm done with The Walking Dead. I think we should let it stay dead. It was a great story to begin with, um, but I think it's played out. I don't like being strung along. I don't need. I don't need any more Walking Dead. I think. I think uh, we we it's hit its pinnacle, and we don't need to see any more. <laughs> so you think that Netflix? Is that right. That, that, you're, no more Walking Dead. Jenny says no. You don't think that Netflix? Will Netflix listen to you, Jenny, or will you think they're just going to make this anyways? Or just keep going. She's like, I don't know. Jenny says guilty. Hard to say. Guilty. Hard to say. Guilty. Uh, Sean says not guilty. Mike says guilty. No, Mike says not guilty, right, Mike? Which which is which, Brian? <laughs> not guilty, guilty, right? Not, not guilty. guilty. Mean, not, yeah. not guilty. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. Guilty. I think I think guilty means guilty means they should not do it. And guilty means not guilty means they you can do it. Go ahead and do it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, let them do it. Do it. I pay say, the actors, I though. pay the actors. <laughs> pay the actors, but I say right now they're gonna do it regardless. Even though I'm gonna tell them they're fucking, they shouldn't do it. Don't do this shit. You've done so much, but then Netflix needs content. They're, they're the company that goes and buys content overseas and subtitles and does dubbing and stuff like that. And makes money off other franchises that don't need money overseas. So that's what they do. So they're gonna make money off this. They're gonna dive back in and make a bunch of money off Walking Dead. They're gonna bring everybody back. They can give them that Netflix money. They don't have the mouse money, but they have Netflix money, and they're gonna throw it at them left and right. And they're gonna green light fucking so many spinoffs of this. We're gonna have Walking Dead underwear, boxer briefs, and everything in the under the sun, rainbow shorts. It's all coming. The Walking Dead bloody pants are all coming. And when it happens in the day, <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's, it's not gonna stop. They're gonna have really great. I mean, it look good. It look great content. But at the end of the day, it's it's, it's just too much oversaturation of the zombie franchise, and it makes it. Less 
less entertaining, I think, for everything else out there. Again, like, do we need more? We don't. But again, if you can find some great storylines, uh, maybe you can bring me back. But I, I, you already lost me on Walking Dead. And I think overall they shouldn't be coming back for more. But I agree with you guys. I think that they're going to do it regardless. Uh-oh. And The Walking Dead can't stop, won't stop, I think, at the end of the day. So, unfortunately. What's right? You okay, Sean? Everyone was gone for a second, and I was back then, and I got a little PTSD about being the only one on the show again. <laughs> no, go ahead, please. Do your, do your ruling, Judge. I say this. At the end of the day, everybody, I say that, okay, of course, of course, of course, there's more coming. Definitely more coming, but I don't think we need that. I just don't. Wait, who's oh, coming? No. <laughs> Absolute Geek Podcast. Thank you for joining Cruise Control. Like, a great little uh, one thing there. But at the end of the day, I just think that you can't stop, won't stop the Walking Dead machine, regardless where you send this son bitch. It's going to end up someplace and keep making more and more and more. Simon Garth, I, I guarantee you, off that picture, you will love to see more of this. I think Netflix has the money and the resources to make more. And at the end of the day, we're getting more, even though I think that we should be done with it, unfortunately. Yo, player, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we are live. And if you are able to join our Patreon, please join. Because the pep star needs more snickety snacks. Because I'm hungry. Holla back. Love y'all.